All right, everyone, so I've chosen the Film and Television Literature Index with Full Text Database. I accessed this through the University of South Carolina's website, and it was available after logging in with a network username and password. So it is available through the institution. It is not accessible on the open web. Um, and the database itself is on EBSCOhost, as you can see here, um, and it's a tool for film and television research, like the name implies. Um, but it's a comprehensive bibliographic and full text database covering television and film. Um, its subject coverage includes film and television theory, preservation and restoration, screenwriting, production, cinematography, technical aspects, and reviews. Um, I chose this database because I myself am really interested in film and television, and it has a lot of subject coverage that I find relevant to my interests. Um, I volunteer at the Moving Image Research Collections here at USC, the Merck, um, and so I do have that direct interest in film preservation and restoration like the subject coverage um, has, as well as, you know, public access to film and things like that. Um, and so the database provides cover to cover indexing and abstracts for more than 380 publications and selected coverage of 300, as well as full text for more than 120 journals and 100 books. In addition, it includes variety movie reviews from 1914 to present and over 36,000 images from the Motion Picture Television Image Archive. Um, so first, we're going to look at some of the basic functions of the database to really just get acquainted with what it offers in terms of searching. So we're going to start off with publication, which is up here on that top fixed menu. Um, and when you select this, you get all of the publications that are offered through the database. You can browse these to find what you're looking for or you can use that search bar to find the exact publication that you want to use. So for example, I know the Velvet Light Trap is a peer-reviewed journal uh, or publication that I'm going to search for. Um, and when I do that, this is my results list. So we can see here the first one is what I am looking for. Um, and when you select that, you're going to get this publication details page. Um, and you can search specifically within the publication here by clicking on this or you can look at all the issues. And as we can see here on the details page, it does go back to when it was um, first published in 1971, all the way up to present in 2018, as well as which um, issues are full text within that. So it's really great to know immediately what are you getting from this publication in this database. And it's also gonna be indexed when you searched by JN for journal, Velvet Light Trap, a critical journal of film and television. So, Speaking of indexes with that JN for journal, you can also see all the databases, um, the databases indexes up here again on that top bar. Um, and when you use these indexes, you can see here what um, indexes you can browse, you can browse by, um, which are author, author supplied keywords, company entity, document type, entry date, geographic terms, ISBN, ISSN, language, people, publication name, reviews and products, subject terms, and your publication. Um, so for example, if I do want to use these indexes and browse this way, um, say for example, I want to browse by author. And I specifically want to look for someone. So I want to look, I'm going to use Heather Heckman, the um, director of Merck, as my example. And here you can see the number of um, hits that I'm getting for Heather Heckman um, specifically because index browsing, you know, it allows you to get the specific values um, that occur in specified fields in a database um, with that hit counts, which is really good to know what you're getting through based on um, indexing. You can do that for any of those other indexes that I've mentioned. So next I'm gonna talk, oh, and excuse me, to jump ahead here were my results list based on those results for Heather Ackman. As you can see those three results, PDF full text um, there for those. So next we're gonna look at the variety movie reviews. Um, and when you select this, you get a ton of results um, that are available. Uh, so for example, you know, you can search through, browse these just like what I, just, what I said with the publications or again, you can search. So. I'm going to search for Halloween. I can see all of the franchise options that I'm getting here. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and select this first one, Halloween, here. Um, and as we can see here, we're getting 61 results. 
Um, and when, you know, when I was looking through this, I found that it actually had more precision than recall in terms of results. Uh, it really became obvious to me as I was doing searches through this, I just found that the results were, there was uh, to be more precise rather than a larger recall. Um, so after looking at the variety of movie reviews, we're going to go over onto these images. Like I said, there's over 36,000 images. Um, from that archive specifically on this database that you can access this way. Um, and there are just so many fun images that you can access. Here's just some that I pulled when I was going through it myself. Um, it's just really great glimpse into something that's obviously such a visual art form. You know, we are talking here about film and television. Um, so this is just another fun way to include things in your research or just in your um, browsing through this database that um, I think is such a great resource for, like I said, we're here looking at film and television. So when we're looking at the database itself and we want to put all of these things into action, um, for example, if I want to look for results based on television, and I'm going to use end as my Boolean operator here out of our list, um, just because I want to kind of narrow down my results and um, make them more on television and preservation. And I'm going to limit full text. I want peer reviewed. And I'm going to do the last five years, 2013 to 2018. So if I search here, I'm going to get 17 results. Um, and as we can see, we can limit them more by over here specifically, um, just limit um, right off the bat with all of these on the sidebar. Um, and if I'm searching through and I found one that seems kind of relevant to what I'm looking for, you can see here all of the information that it provides, the abstract, all these other linked things like with the author. You can click on those and you can find specifically if you're liking what you're getting from this author, you can use that way and search that way. Um, and then if you are liking this result specifically, want to know more about it, they do have that linked full text because we limited it like that. And so um, looking more at this and kind of comparing um, results, see what we get with film and preservation, for example. So we're getting 65 results for film and preservation. Again, same kind of thing of looking for what is relevant to you by using all of these available limiters, um, publication, publisher, like I said, um, as well as if we want to look through those images specifically, give you an example of this. Say I want to look for Mary Tyler Moore, I'm getting 104 results just based off of that. Um, and so you can just click on any of these to get those images, which is how I got those, like Mary Tyler Moore and um, Betty White there. So then you can also, like I said, search through publication. Um, say you're kind of starting out your research, you can just use these to find anything that you're looking for and let's search within one of these. So say I wanna use essays on nonfiction films here. Um, you can see they only have full text of this one, maybe not what you're looking for here, but there are a ton of available, like I said. Um, let's put into practice that velvet light trap. search within the publication, and maybe we want to look at preservation within this. Just limit it that way. You can see here we're getting results specifically, again, within the Velvet Light Trap, a critical journal of film and television. Um, so different ways to do different things. You can, you know, obviously search through it like this and link through the source type. Um, if you're ever getting confused about any of these um, of what 
they are limited by up here. You can always use this great help button at the top as well um, that EBSCO provides as a resource. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope that provides some comfort and be able to use this in the future. Thanks.